Hello, this is a quick video tutorial on how to use Writer's Cartography for Mountain Blade Warbands. It's in my opinion the best map editor you can get. It allows you to edit both the towns and parties of the map, as well as the map itself, with the use of a 3D modeling program, but it's really something I'm gonna show you in a minute. So let's start off by downloading the file. You'll find the link in the description. It's really easy to download, just yes, download it to wherever you want. Then you wanna open up the folder and find the cartographer.conf.eni file and open it with a text editor of some kind. Now you need to direct it to your module underscore parties.py file. So if you don't know how to set up your module system, you can just Google it. It's there's a lot of tutorials and guides available on how to set up your module system. So do that and direct it to the pi file or module underscore parties. Yeah. Now once you've done that, save. And now r you want to run the program to see if it works. So that's a cartographer.cmd file. It should look something like this. Now I've edited my map quite a bit so far, S but it's just it should just be the native map showing up. Now if you just wanna change the location of a town, you can right click and press G to move it around or hold G to just move it wherever you want. Now you need to make sure that every single party as they're called is in a location that is reachable by the player. If I for example placed Halmar on this mountain, when you try to launch the game it will just say well you basically get an error message, so it needs to be on a passable terrain. But yeah, anyway. Now you want to hit export object, so that's F eight. Now save down a file so let's just call this my map one and dot obg okay there we go now you're gonna need a 3d moduling program it's really easy to use you can download it for free it's called blender i'll leave a link in the description so start it up and you can start by deleting these things here you won't need them. Then you wanna hit file import wavefront.object. Now find the file you just exported from the cartographer, select it, and this is important. Keep vert order, check that. Now import object. Now we have your map here. You can modify it as you like. You can start playing around in this program. There's a lot of features I don't know about yet. But basically, if you want to sculpt, select sculpt mode here. And left click. It's in mirror mode right now by default, so symmetry lock and uncheck that to remove that. So yeah, just yes, left clicking allows you to change the landscape and holding control does the opposite it digs down if you wanna change the strength you can do that here and the radius of your so yeah if you wanna make a mountain that can be useful if you want to change the textures themselves you go to edit mode and find this circle here. Now I like to press C to get this circle selector. It allows you to select easily and once you've sele if I wanted to make this entire area snow, just find snow here and press assign and it's that easy. Yeah.
Now, if you want to actually get this map into the game, what you do is you hit um, export wavefront. Now we just save it down again. So let's name it my edited map one dot object and here there's a few things you want to check so um, let's see here selection only just copy what I'm doing basically so yeah, these three these three and those two now export objects okay so now go back into the cartographer and hit where is it you can see down there the shortcuts F7 import object so now find the map you just saved down my little map and boom now it's here so you yeah, make sure none of the parties are inside of the terrain or is in a unreachable area because then the game will just crash when you try to start. Yeah by the way the controls for the map editor is is, is just W A S D and hold left click to look around. Now if you want to save this to get it into the actual game you can see down here F9 saves edited parties and F5 saves the map so hit F9 and F5 and now we just go to your module system okay so just go to your module system and run the build module.bat file just let it finish make sure there's no error messages or fails just close it down and now start up your game Kay. so in order for it to take effect you have to start a new game it's not save game compatible Fuck. okay see this mer error message means that one of the parties are un unaccessible so if you just go in we're gonna restart the cartographer and see what we can do so this is what happened. Sometimes it randomly just flips the map, which is why you wanna make sure to back up as often as you can. So what you have to do is just import the map again. So F7. And boom, there we go. Now it should work. So hit F5 to save the map. And I shouldn't have to save the parties, I didn't edit them. Okay, so I'll see you in game. So here we are, so hopefully now when we press start a new game it should work. Yep. So yes. Kind of annoying you have to create a new character every time you slightly modify your map. But that's how it works. Now we can see this massive mountain thingy that we created here, which confirms that it works. So yeah, make sure to back up your game as often as possible. Back up all them files. Okay, I hope you found this video helpful. Um, should point out there is a written guide by the creator. I'll link it in the description and yeah I found it a bit confusing to read but it's a good guide it covers 
basically everything all the basics so yeah, if you didn't have any luck with my video you can try and look at the guide so anyway thanks for watching and goodbye